Hi, my name's Terry Ryan. I'm, I'm a developer advocate for a Google Cloud platform. I'd like to help explain the difference between App Engine and Compute Engine and highlight the relative strengths of each. Along the way, I'll use Google Cloud Storage and Firebase to help show actual results to you. I have a system set up that uses a set of simple custom Compute Engine VMs to send load at an App Engine application. That App Engine application runs a simple script that writes a file to Google Cloud Storage. Also, Compute Engine, App Engine, and Cloud Storage in this application all contact Firebase to give real-time updates to the status of the system. All this allows us to visualize exactly what is happening when we run the machines and send load at App Engine. This right here is the visualizer. You'll see not a lot's going on with it right now because there are no machines present and nothing's kind of going on. But as I run this app, I'll come back to here and we'll see in real time updates to what's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna start with Compute Engine. I'm gonna do so by creating 10 Compute Engine instances. Now, if you look over here in Compute Engine, you'll notice that uh, I don't have any instances set up because I'm gonna create them here. Now I'm gonna do that by running a, a script that uh, will create them for me. I'm gonna tell the script run this, run the create script 10 times so that it creates 10 instances. Now, if I look over here in the code, this is what I'm doing. I'm using gcloud compute instances create to create um, a machine name, basically set by the number of machines I have, and then setting an image and a machine. And then I copy some scripts over, I run app get update, I install Apache 2 utils so they can use Apache Bench, set some environmental variables, and then I check into Firebase. If we look, we should start to see machine information start popping up here. You'll see that the machines are being created. Now, once they're created, I'm gonna run scripts on them to, as we, I put it out in that script file. So now we see all of those updates happening. And as these machines come up, as they finish, they should pop into our um, visualizer. So I'm gonna give that a second to run, shrink this down so we can watch both at the same time. And as we see, as they finish, they pop up um, into our visualizer. So I could speed up this process if I had created an image with this custom install and then created instances from those images instead of writing the script from scratch. But in this case, I wanted to kind of show the whole process. And so we've created 10 VMs, uh, loaded up with Apache Bench, and we did it in a matter of tens of seconds. So now let's look what App Engine can do. First off, to see what I'm gonna to do to App Engine, we need to look at the script. And here you'll see that I have a URL, the Galvanize URL there, and I take some parameters for number of hits when I notify Firebase that we're sending load at App Engine. And then I run Apache Bench to hit that URL. And then after Apache Bench is done, I check out of Firebase so that I stop telling Firebase that I'm updating. And I'll show how that kind of works out in the visualizer in a second. Now that we have that up, we're gonna hit that URL to hit see what happens when we hit that URL, we're gonna look at the PHP. Basically, I grab a unique ID of the machine, I create some Firebase URLs, I create a Firebase data structure, and then I send the record for the unique App Engine instance already represented, and then I make sure that each page hit is recorded under that instance. I then, at the end, after I do that, I write to Google Cloud Storage, and once I'm done writing to Google Cloud Storage, I post a little message and, and that's it. Why am I doing this? I'm writing to Firebase so that we can see a real-time update. I'm writing to Google Cloud Storage so that we can see a tangible result from this process. And both of these combined actually cause some load to be running on App Engine so that there's actual load there. Let's look at a couple things real quick. I wanna show you an App Engine. You'll notice that I have no instances running, but there are now 10 instances running in Compute Engine that correspond to all the machines I created. Let me just refresh and we'll see that again. Yep, they're all ready to go. And then here I am in Google Cloud Storage, I'll hit refresh and we'll see that there are no files here. So everything's kind of all primed and ready to go. I'm all ready to set load. Let us send some load at this machine. So I'm gonna do that by typing load sh. I'm gonna send a, let's see, I'm basically gonna send a thousand hits per machine, so per 10 machines, to all, to, to that App Engine URL. So I'm gonna fire this off. I'm gonna to switch to the visualizer real quick so we can see this happening. And uh, let me just shrink this down a little bit. And I'm gonna fire off the load. Now, we should see loads start happening in a second as the command reaches 
the uh, compute engine nodes, you'll see that the compute engine nodes start bouncing up and down. And then as I hit load, you'll see that new new instances of App Engine are spinning up. So every time a new node is created, a new node pops up here. And then after that load starts hitting it, it's also writing to the file system and writing all these files. So we can see here's all the instances of App Engine and here's all the files that it's writing. And what's happening is the cloud storage is writing a call to Firebase to say, hey, I've been updated. So let that run for a second and finish out. And there we go. We hit some new thresholds with load and a whole bunch of machines fired up. That's great. And we're getting to the end of the load here. And there we go, 10,000. This terminal command should finish. You'll see that all the nodes stop bouncing up and down here on Compute Engine, and we handled all of that load. And now, if I go to this bucket, hit refresh, you'll see that each one of these files is the individual node that opened up on App Engine, the individual instance. And then when I hit this, you'll see each one of these contains a ton of files. So there we go. This application used both Compute Engine and App Engine, right? Compute Engine is customizable and very flexible, and you can spin up new VMs pretty quickly in what we'd say a matter of tens of seconds. But App Engine, a little less flexible, but has no system components, so I don't have to worry about the setup, um, anything like that. And if I need to spin up a large amount of load, App Engine can handle it. And what's cool is that both of these can work together in the same project. I can do a little bit on App Engine, a little bit on Compute Engine, combine them in, you know, kind of infinite ways. App Engine and Compute Engine are only two of our computing tools and are different ends of what we like to think of as our continuum of computing. From the control of Compute Engine to the convenience of just having to push up code of App Engine. In between, there are solutions like Manage VMs, which blow the line between App Engine and Compute Engine, Auto Load Balancing, which makes Compute Engine a little less manual. There's things like Container Engine, which allow you to orchestrate large amounts of can containers and move lots of process, uh, processing power around. A lot of options that exist here on the spectrum. Uh, I recommend you go to Google Cloud Platform's website at cloud.google.com and find out more about the rest of our computing options.